Tonight, opening statements and the first day of testimony wrapped up in the trial of a former MSU gymnastics coach. Kathy Clegg is accused of lying to police during the investigation into disgraced sports doctor Larry Nasser. Annie Satowski was in Lansing for today's proceedings. Opening statements from the attorney general's office laying out a timeline that they say shows former MSU gymnastics coach Kathy Clegg knew about Larry Nasser abusing athletes more than 20 years ago. Larissa went up to the defendant's office on the third floor at the Jensen Field House. And then the defendant asked her, what's going on? He's going underneath my clothing. He's touching my breasts. It makes me uncomfortable. It hurts. And I don't like it. At the end, the defendant holds up a piece of paper and says, you know, I can file this. Like serious consequences for you and Dr. Nasser. The most important testimony coming from Larissa Boyce, who was 16 when she started seeing Nasser at Spartan Youth Gymnastics, a program directly overseen by Kathy Clegas. I wanted to be a college gymnast. My desire was to be an MSU gymnast. It was my goal to be a part of that team. I loved Michigan State. I grew up in the area and all I wanted to do was be a part of that team. Larissa says it was 1997 when she decided to tell Clegus about her inappropriate treatments. After I told her, she said, well, I've known Larry for years and years. There's no way that he would do anything inappropriate. Um, and and I said, well, that's not what's happening to me. Voice testified Clegus then brought several other gymnasts into her office, all of them saying they didn't find Nasser's treatments uncomfortable. It made me feel um, embarrassed. It made me feel like I was a liar. It made me feel dirty. It made me feel like um, I was, I, fe I felt like she thought I was making it up. I felt destroyed at that moment. Clegus's defense team saying the trial is a result of an overzealous investigative team who interviewed hundreds of people even after Nasser was sentenced for his crimes. This case is an example of what can happen. And police officers, an attorney general who's under intense scrutiny, team up to take down the high profile car. Also calling this a case about memory, saying Boyce wasn't detailed enough about her conversations with another gymnast during police interviews in 2017. I told your client that Larry Nassar was penetrating me. That's what matters. That's why we are here today. Ms. Boyce, you understand this isn't Mr. Nasser's sentencing where you can say whatever you want. You have to answer questions. <laughs> a back and forth that was tough for Boyce's family and friends to watch. They don't know Larissa. She, she's always been, you know, she might be the littlest thing in the room, but she's got a way to stand up for herself and can speak out and will, will take anybody on. Uh, so I thought at least she held her ground and wasn't intimidated. So when they kept asking about that, it was just really hard to see that they're kind of being re-traumatized.